Hello, so I'm here today to unbox a Microsoft Surface Pro 4. Uh, this particular model is the Intel Core i7 with a 256GB uh, SSD, 16GB of RAM. Uh, so it comes with Windows 10, uh, it's in a very slim box, I suppose there's not much to it. We've got the optional keyboard and we've got the optional dock. Um, just a word of warning regarding the dock. My yeah, the dock has issues, um, maybe, I don't know. So um, I will kind of like follow up and let you know whether or not we experience any issues. Um, but effectively, this is quite a heavy box. Um, it does include um, power cables, video adapter. Um, no, no, it doesn't include. It includes surface, dock and power cable. Video display adapter is so separately, sorry. Um, and it's for display it's got uh, the um, mini display port by the looks of it so like an apple friendly one um, don't normally see those unless they're for business uh, so your monitor may not be compatible so again if you're thinking of buying one of these check out third party um, adapters you may find them better and more more friendly uh, they're obviously cheaper as well. So, um, yeah, so we've done the type, type covers, fairly standard. I don't think they've changed this much. It is backlit, which is interesting. Um, so that'd be quite nice. And uh, so let's open this baby. Um, we've got just a little tag there, and that's it. I presume you pull it out. Yeah, all right. Now, interestingly, I heard, I don't know if this is true, maybe someone can comment to let me know, but apparently um, Microsoft, every time they sell one of these, they have to pay Apple um, a fee for using the, the patents of the iPad. So that's uh, fairly interesting. Uh, so we've got one little box here, and I'm gonna guess this has got the power adapter in it. Yeah, just a little power adapter, power brick. And then we've got our UK 3 prong uh, plug there. And that's the end for the power. And, oh, okay, so I'm trying to pull it that way, but it actually just lifts up. And there we have it. And I'm just gonna open this one up. I like to keep the plastic as nice and neat as possible. Slip it out. It's all very shiny. And let's try turning it on, shall we? Because I'm a real Surface Pro um, user. I don't even know how to turn them on. Uh, there's a little button at the top here, so. There we go. And it just says Surface in the middle. Um, move that. Let's have a quick look. You've got your stylus, not to be confused with like a, an Apple um, pen. I just, I, I believe that the Apple pen is, you know, way beyond, way beyond, uh, way beyond in technology wise. Um, it's quite a nice weighty feel. Um, I don't know if that's usable. There's a few instructions there, different languages. Um, close that one down. Okay, so we've turned it on and it just says hello there. Um, please select your language. So, um, we this one, and then yeah, I think that's all good. And then we press next, and then it's probably going to want user data and things like that, usernames and stuff like that, as they all do now. Oh, it wants me to set up the pen. So I'm going to stop it right there, but let's have a look at the back and the kick plate and things like that. So on the back, we've got this kick plate, um, which just opens up. It doesn't open up too wide, and it's got a solid feel to it. Stands up quite nicely. Move this box out of the way. Stands up quite nicely. And you've got the Microsoft logo on the back. Kick that one back down. You've got a camera on the back. 
camera on the front. Um, headphone jack here. Charging dock at the bottom. Uh, no, no, that's the keyboard dock there, isn't it? Um, a lot of umming because I don't know my way around. I'm, I'm kind of like more Apple based than Microsoft. It's always interesting to see what others are doing. But yeah, super powerful um, machine. Like I say, this is the top of the range one. Um, Intel Core i7. Uh, which is really powerful for a tablet and the 256 storage is quite cool as well um, I think this machine is going to be a real replacement for a normal kind of like laptop I think it's quite a lot of power my only reservation I suppose is the lack of connectivity I'm hoping the dock will help with that because at the end of the day you've only got one USB on the side um, so you may find some certain devices like DVD drives and things like that you may have to find one that draws enough power from one um, from one USB to work. I know Surface Pro users have had this issue, so that's why I mentioned that. Um, I'm not a big fan. It's a nice device. Um, I still would prefer a laptop over a Surface Pro. And if I was into the market of having a tablet, I would probably go down the route of having a iPad Pro. Um, either the small 9 inch one or the 12 inch one rather than this uh, and you could get a decent laptop and one of those tablets for the same price as this so um, yeah uh, any comments any questions um, please like and subscribe and um, I'll be back soon thanks